China's new oil and gas sector requires skilled personnel. And for the first time in the country's history, personnel can receive the much needed training right here in Guyana. This is made possible through the establishment of a new oil and gas training facility at Lusignan on the east coast of Demerara. This facility was made through a partnership between Enertech, Orenduk Development and Windsor Technologies, a mix of international and local companies. Now, according to the Chief Executive Officer of Enertech, Christian Brown, this facility is expected to provide enormous benefits to Guyanese and foreigners who will come here for training. Not only is the Centre of Excellence the first regional ECITB accredited centre in Guyana, it's also the country's first Capito approved facility. This certification is an absolute prerequisite for the thousands of global offshore workers who employees require a shared knowledge of safe working practices benchmarked with global industry standards. Previously, as many of you will know, but many don't know, the closest to Peter Training Centre was either the US, Europe or Trinidad. Now having this facility here locally changes all that. The door's wide open now to do all the training we need for not only Guyana, but for the region here within Georgetown. The facility was officially opened on Friday and Prime Minister Brigadier Retired Mark Phillips was among those who attended and commended the developers for this initiative. According to him, Guyanese will benefit significantly from internationally recognized and accredited certification right here on their home soil. Much of this training, as you heard, was conducted away from home. But today, and from here on, our people will be able to access such training right here in Guyana. With you being the force entity with approval to deliver offshore petroleum industry training organization accredited training to the oil and gas sector in Guyana, our human resources are now strengthened at a global standard to actively and competently participate in the building of the human resources of this new and abundant area of our country. With an industry that requires high skills and knowledge, it is reassuring to know that these capacities can be imparted to our people, again, without having to leave their home soil. Already a batch of some 80 graduates have completed training programs right here at this facility. According to developers, many more people will receive training while the developers themselves hope to expand the services offered here. Reporting for the newsroom from Lusignan on the east coast of Demerara, I am Fashani Ragabir.